God of Thunder follows your orders and ventures out of the castle into the unexplored world in search of an adventure. Whenever the king wants to announce something to his people, he sends his faithful harbinger to the market square. Here, standing on a stool, the good man has often read the king's messages to the people. On this market day, however, it is an unknown man in the herald's clothes speaking to the people. He announces an increase in taxes to be paid by every citizen from now on. But the truth is that the king has never actually raised the taxes. Adventure 51. The False Harbinger. The real harbinger is nowhere to be found, and the king has not appointed a new speaker. He sends God of Thunder in search of his loyal servant. God of Thunder finds him tied up and gagged in a barn. This is also where he encounters the man who has been posing as the king's herald. General God of Thunder, the prophet is now going to take on Hugh the False Harbinger. Swinging first, God of Thunder slashes with his weapon. This blow was a critical hit, inflicting 272,788 damage. Hugh oh. collapses. This message is something that God of Thunder prefers to announce himself. I like putting an end to Frosters. The king's only true harbinger is very happy to be free and to have his job back, thanks to God of Thunder. He gives God of Thunder 1839 gold pieces as a token of his gratitude. He also receives 1893 experience points. Daily Adventure, The False Harbinger. Completed. God of Thunder follows your orders, and ventures out of the castle, into the vast world, in search of an adventure. Brave knights are always injured during the night tournaments in Dummersdorf. Medical scholars take care of the men's wounds in tents at the tournament site. But for quite some time now, several knights have not fully recovered from their injuries and are even left behind as cripples. Adventure 52. The Charlatan. God of Thunder suspects a charlatan among the healers, who deliberately provides incorrect treatment and care for the knights to ensure that they can never fight properly again. His assumption is finally confirmed at the sickbed of a severely wounded warrior. The charlatan even worsens the injury of a patient with wrong remedies. God of Thunder confronts him. General God of Thunder, the prophet will now fight Cecil the charlatan. God of Thunder starts this brawl with a lightning fast attack. That was a critical hit, causing 332,099 damage. Oh. Cecil slams down face first. It looks as if the charlatan is now the one who must swallow the bitter pill of defeat. He will spend the rest of his life locked up in the royal prison. Since God of Thunder was able to stop this dangerous charlatan, the king rewards him with 1948 gold pieces and 5 diamonds. He also receives 1930 experience points. Daily Adventure, The Charlatan. Completed. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Until next time, may legends be born.